Ahead of the general elections coming up on February 25 and March 11, leaders of 14 political parties in Bayelsa State have committed themselves to a peace accord to obey INEC guidelines and also promote peaceful polls across the state. They were made to take an oath on behalf of themselves and candidates of their parties before heads of security agencies, traditional rulers, INEC and other stakeholders in Yenugua, the state capital. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, wants them to also sensitize their supporters on the need for peaceful elections in the state. Your presence here today to participate in the exercise should not be seen as a mere window dressing in order to fulfill our righteousness. There should be a clear message to your supporters to also align with the objectives of the accord. It is also to sign, it's also a sign of commitment to take responsibility as situation demands. So my prayer and wish is you will, as much as possible, try and follow the guidelines by INEC and the guidelines by the Constitution of Nigeria and ensure that you keep to the terms of this accord. No violence, no violence whatsoever. We are all leaders. It's what we tell our followers to do. Please, please, please. Let us not instigate violence. It's a plea that I'm making. In my experience for 15 months I've been here, I see Bayelsa as peaceful. The chairman of some of the political parties also spoke to journalists and stressed the need for punitive measures against offenders. And uh, I want to uh, call on uh, all politicians uh, to abide by this uh, peace accord that we have just signed. And we should uh, enjoin our supporters, our fit party faithfuls, to uh, campaign peacefully and do the election peacefully so that uh, at the end of the day that we will have a credible and transparent uh, election. That PDP as a party, we have been peaceful. We always advise all other parties to emulate what we have been doing over the years because we conduct ourselves, tell our, our supporters to go peacefully to the polling booths, cast their votes, stay and defend it. That's what we have been doing. So we, we, we have never been associated with any violence in terms of election in these states, which the INEC and all other institutions can attest to that. 2019, in the government election, a particular local government, before the election, there were shootings and, and, and killings. And even before then, we signed a similar thing like this, peace accord. But nothing is, is being done. And here again, we are signing on that peace accord again. Is it this kind of peace accord? Is it for, for formality? Those that violate this uh, peace accord, what, what are the finalities? Uh, nothing of choice is being mentioned in regards to this uh, peace accord. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.